This snip is a look at how the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio Code handles PowerShell profiles. If I reload my window, we'll see the integrated terminal pop up at the bottom, and you can see that there are four warning messages. Each of those four messages are coming from a different profile. The top two are the profiles located in the System32 folder. The bottom two are located in my Documents folder. Notice that there's two labelled as being for the current host, VS Code, and those will only ever run within this integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. You can find the location for any of these profiles by looking at the profile variable. For example, the all users all host one is in System32, Windows PowerShell, and is just profile.ps1. Alternatively, the all users current host profile is in the same location, but it's prefixed with microsoft.vscode. It's possible to edit these profiles, and if you prefix the path with code, it'll open up that profile in code for editing within this window. I'll open up the current user current host profile, which happens to be the VS Code specific profile that lives within my documents folder. Keep in mind that if you want to edit the profiles that sit in the system32 directory, you'll need to be running as admin. Also, code will default to the Visual Studio Code specific version of the profile if you only reference profile. This is where you should be putting any code specific to your sessions within Visual Studio Code as this profile will not run in any other PowerShell hosts. If you don't want the PowerShell extension to load your profiles, you can configure a user setting called PowerShell.enable profile loading. If you set that to false and then reload your window, you'll notice that the integrated terminal pops up but there are no warnings dis displayed. If, however, we go back into our settings and comment this out, making profile loading true again, and save our profile, you'll notice that instantly the PowerShell extension has gone ahead and loaded those profiles. So when going from no profile loading to turning profile loading on, we don't need to reload our window in order to trigger that loading process. That's been a very quick look at PowerShell profiles in Visual Studio Code using the PowerShell extension. Thank you for watching.